cool. Alright. Alright, summer host. Yeah, and I'll be doing it. Alright. Alright. Three, two, one. Ready? Yeah. The groom. What? Go back. It skipped in. Well, how do I start the start and start? Start. We'll go again. Yeah. Alright, now the time. Hey! Welcome to the show! This is the top D. Today we talk about this guy and this guy. Look at him, he's a fuck. Do, 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 do. And we talk about smoking, how it's good for you. See? Now, I. We talk about Johnny Depp and his dogs. See? It's dumb. It's very, very dumb. It's dumb, 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 dumb. Dumb. That's you, Steve. Nick, it's you, Steve. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all we have time for. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. What? Oh, fuck. There's more. Okay, um, I gotta make something up. So, uh, what are you doing Tuesday? Um, going to the park? Going to the bin? Maybe visit your mom? Or go shopping? I'm not sure. You need to make up your mind. Well, I said it's fucked. And then that guy said to me, that's nah, not fucked. And I said, fuck you, mate. I'm going to fucking punch you so fucking hard in the nuts. You're going to bleed. <laughs> well, what's it? I've got a small penis. Very small penis. And he was like, yes, you do, you do. He goes, yeah, look, look. I found it the other day. He was here hiding on the couch. Now, the guy, he told me that I didn't want to pull down my pants in front of him. He was a review of my bomb and, well, made me feel weird. I know that much. Uh, why are you interviewing me? I'm not... Uh, uh, what was the question? Uh, oh, don't flash me in the eye like that. It really hurts my face. Uh, it really hurts. Well, what I say is, don't put a tax on donuts, because that would fucking hurt me on the belt. Um, it would hurt everybody, the hard work in Australia, who likes like, donuts, and that's the bottom line, isn't it? Um, that answers that question. What's the fucking next question? Oh, next question is about chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Answer me, bitch! Ah, uh, well, I'm trying to work on my waistline because I'm going to be a fatty, 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 fat bitch. Where every single day I'm going to have a big birthday cake and sing birthday to me every day. I'm going to get so fat and there's going to be some fat mm -hmm. fetish people out there. And they'll, like, fuck me. But they'll know I'll be able to find my cunt and they'll just fuck my fat. And, like, yeah, it'll be so good, like... People hold my fat like this to try and get on my body and it'll be really fun. Like, that's what I like. Well, sugar. that's very nice. Sugar! That's all I enjoy. Happy clown sugar. <laughs> yeah, that was gay. No, it wasn't gay. I mean, I, as a nerd, I have an obsession with fat women because um, they make me feel good when I'm on the computer and the, the fat bitches fat flabs on me when I'm using the keyboard to type to my computer friends. You see, one of my Facebook and my computer and uh, the, I got the webcam and it shows the fat on my body from the girl when I stream it to my nerd friends and they enjoy it. They, they like seeing the fat uh, droop all over the place and hang off the curtains and just drip all over the floor and, and, and they're just so jealous, my nerd friend. And, and, I, and I add them on Facebook uh, as friends and 
is so fun and it's so beautiful. And uh, by the way, I mean, I invested at a, a new website and it's gonna be called mynosebook.com and you're gonna post, <laughs> instead of your face, you're gonna post your nose um, all over the website and you're going to, instead of likes, it's gonna be enjoys. You enjoy seeing the nose, you enjoy seeing the body. <laughs> ah, I can't work out the website, nosebook.com. Uh, and I can program it. You see, we're gonna program it, and these people, all these people, are gonna be scooped up, and they're gonna be forced to work at no. Well, I don't like the idea of notebook. I mean, I don't even have a nose. or I do, but you gotta understand that, like, when I think about my nose, I don't think about a book. You see, <laughs> I think about my pets. I think about my house. I think about the taxes. And I think about my mom. So, if you see, if you know what I'm trying to say. The, the basic idea of the politics of revolution <laughs> is that if you look at my pie, you'll see that when when the top dollar is earned by the millionaire, the guy with the pie suffers, if you know what I mean. And you know, my nose isn't going to go, his nose isn't going to go, so why you need a nose book when it's not going to do anything for anybody and it's going to rip off the pie guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, with a politics, when you put it down to A and B, it's pretty simple. You don't need a fucking rocket scientist to fucking work out that everybody <laughs> well yeah, yes very good but, but, but do you like chocolate I already came up with that years ago uh, a book I was gonna make <coughs> <coughs> no I don't like chocolate actually instead I prefer my fruit juice out of right out of the box and uh, by coincidence, I have the fruit juice next to my computer, which is actually <laughs> handy because um, when I use my computer and I have the fruit juice, it makes using the computer healthy even though I use it for 24 hours a day and I don't need to sleep anymore. And what I do, by coincidence, since I'm at the computer, is I connect the computer to my body and so I don't need to even sleep anymore and I just download thoughts into my head and it's a new website, by the way, it's called downloadbrain.com. And what you do is you upload and download your brain onto the computer. And so you don't even need to be a person anymore. You just be the, this kind of computer guy when you're on the go. Is it a fruit box or is it like just juice? I'm not sure. It didn't tell me. Do you know what kind of juice he drinks? Because I think he likes... Guava juice. I like guava juice. Ah, the only kind of juice that I like is the juice which is like just water <laughs> and just has sugar in it. And uh, that's it. I just like, I've got my box flavoured sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Don't you understand? What, look, that's exactly what I'm trying to say here. Come on. L listen to me, listen to me. Can't you understand the message I'm trying to get across here? Yeah. <laughs> no, he, can, he can't do anything because he's too fat. He roly polies all over the place and all. Well, when I'm going to see the thing about Joe Hockey, in politics, it takes one angle from the sky, the second angle is from the ground. So, if you mix his politics, if you look at the sky and the ground together in his one politic view, what you get is a small bird, okay? And that small bird comes important later when the guy goes to the shop and he wants to get a nice lot of cheese, you know? And then when he gets the cheese, he's thinking, that was good because Joe Hockey did that for me, and that's his political view in my opinion. But I could be wrong because talk to this guy, talk to that guy, I talk to my dad, I talk to everybody, I ask them all, what's Hockey's opinion? Look, you can't have that opinion because Joe Hockey once once he insulted me and my computer. No, no, no. He, he insulted me and my computer. He didn't insult your computer. He didn't insult your computer. He beat the crap out of me. And so I didn't he said your like Joe Hockey anymore. And so what I did to Joe Hockey's computer is I hacked his computer and I deleted all his files and well and so that puts me an advantage actually because 
That my, my my political deal you see is just taking Joe Hockey and just rolling him down the hill, rolling poly, and you never even see him ever again. And so that that that's kind of what I do. I'm kind of rolling poly okay, man. Okay, okay. But last time I saw Hockey, he told me. He said, listen to me very closely, because I'm gonna tell you the most important <laughs> thing ever fucking here in your fucking life. He said to me, My queen, my politics. <laughs> he said, he said, what? I don't know. I, I, yes. That's all the time we've got for this. Now, um, oh, yes, the show, the show. Yes, we're running the show. Look, we're taking shit off the internet. And we're looking at this guy. It's a picture of a cunt. Doom, 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 doom. Everyone likes it, dumb. Boom. <laughs> Welcome back. You didn't miss anything. If you worry, you just got off the toilet. You didn't miss anything. So, uh, welcome back. And we're gonna stop the show. So, uh, we had the guest. <coughs> and they, they were talking about, um, cheese. And, uh, gravity, politics. Uh... Birds? I, I don't understand, really. I don't know why I applied for this job in the first place. But here I am now, and I'm asking you the question. The important question. Answer it. <laughs> uh, I don't really know much because I'm a woman, you see. I mean, I'll pretend to have a few opinions here and there, but that's neither here or there. Because, uh... I mean, my, I like to have the boobies, and I like to talk, and I like to pretend, and all that kind of thing. I mean, just look at the sky, la 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 la, I mean, I mean, what, once there was this time there, I was walking down the road, and there was a birthday cake on the floor, and I just picked it up and ate it, because that's the kind of woman that I am, and I know it's not, there was the nice beauty magazine, and I was flipping through the beauty magazine, and like, whoa, I should look more like that. Oh my god! Also, what I did is I cut out the faces from the beauty magazine, stuck it on my face, and well... On your cake? Or your face? Which was it? <laughs> cake, wasn't it? And then... Yeah, I wanted to make the cake look much more beautiful, so I got the beauty magazine, put it with the cake, and well, it made me feel good, I don't know about you, but oh, it made me feel good. Maybe Google could try to explain it. Like when I express myself, it's like, oh, so good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you match what I'm saying to the circumstances in which I'm saying it? I mean, there was this one time which I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, who is this bitch? I am at the right down and I can't even think about anything anymore. Stamp it out. Stamp out the ants! <laughs> 50 million grams of sugar? Yes, and then I was like, there's this one time when my computer started punching me, so I had to install an antivirus on the computer. You see, when the virus came onto my computer, what I found out is that a computer grew arms, and then there was these people who were buying things in the shops, and they didn't care about me or my computer. They didn't, I mean, who buys fish and who buys chicken when my computer at home is punching me in the face? That's what I want to know about. I mean, so I had to install the antivirus onto my computer and then it cured the problem because my computer had a disease. And then, well, I had to go to the shops eventually to buy some meat. Uh, but I couldn't just do it the normal way. So what I did is when I bought the food, I downloaded the food into a hard drive first. And then when I came home, I uncompressed it from a zip file and put it into the fridge. You see, that compression made it less, less kilograms, and instead it was gigabytes on a hard drive when I brought it home, you see, because I unzipped the food and I put it in the fridge. Well, well, well that's a lot to take in, but no, I'm thinking like this guy talking about the, the food. And I was just thinking about my cake and how, when the last time I saw my cake, it was about 10 years ago, but I don't know where I left it. And then that's when I got depression. And like, it was a long time, I've been on my cake. I don't know if anyone's 
She my cake out there. I, I left her on the sidewalk one day when I went off to do, do what I was doing. And then when I left with the car, I came back to pick it up and it was not there anymore. And now I don't know if someone kidnapped my cake. I don't know what the fuck happened with my cake. My mom doesn't know what happened with my cake. And then I asked my dog and he doesn't know what happened with my cake. So the point is my cake is still out there somewhere. I know someone knows some information. So if anybody can uh, get the information back to me and I'm going to find this fucking cake, then my life will be better, because my life is shit without my cake. I need my cake, and I just want to find it and so everybody can have a happy resolve, you know what I'm saying? If, by chance, you've seen it, just come after, after this show, come up to me and say, Hey, hey Johnny, I've seen your fucking cake, and I know what it is. I got photos, you know, I'm not, I haven't done anything strange to it. I haven't, like, touched the cake, I haven't put my finger in your cake. Because if you put your finger in the cake, then the cake's ruined, you know what I'm saying? And if someone's done that, there's a sick person to put a finger in my cake. Ten years it's been gone. And I've seen your cake. You ate it. You just forgot that you ate it. That's all. So now you, you took a picture of his cake, and you printed it in a 3D printer, and then you ate it. <coughs> Am I to understand? That's what happened. <coughs> really? No, what I actually did is I took a few pictures of his cake, that's right, but then I printed it on the computer, and I and it was in black and white, actually. It was on black and white pixel dots on the computer. It's actually fairly low resolution. It was like 50 by 50 pixels, and then I put it, and I put, uh, put pictures of it on my walls, and eventually what I did is I got so many slices of paper that eventually it became a cake. Um, that I printed from the computer. Well, whoa, whoa. Are you saying that when you printed it off, you printed off a cake, but it wasn't my cake in essence. It was a different, totally different cake. Yes, it was a paper cake, you know, made out of paper and flour and sugar, and drizzle of Milo and some honey. And don't forget, it also has salt. Lots of salt that you can get from the rocks. I heard that this one guy, he fucked me while I was in in bed and sleep, and I couldn't dream about it. Have you ever heard of the way to be beautiful and sexy like an advertisement? (laughs) Well, they can (laughs) be by being me. Hey, yeah, I'm at the beach in a, like, a suit, because that's what I swim in. Hey, I'm a bitch, and you should buy this couch and be really rich and, uh, and I have to be really shallow and fucking, uh, uh, uh. Ooh! <laughs> ha, very good, wasn't it? <laughs> I would never touch one of those things. It's crazy. <coughs> Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Are you having a good time? Because I am. Like, I'm, I'm fucking... Just came from the fucking worst fucking bus trip I've ever fucking seen. Like, I was just got off the bus from the medical school, mate. And this fucking, like, this fucking cake was on the side of the fucking bus. I could not fucking believe it, mate. There was two grown men fighting over it, seriously. Like some of thought it was like his cake from 10 years ago or something. That was so fucking stupid, I could not believe it. I thought, if they put it on TV, like, no one would believe it whatsoever. Like, they'd go, no, I can't believe two grown men in their fucking, you know, one guy had glasses on as well. And he, I just could not believe it. So we were fighting over the cake? What kind of cake? Was it big? That's not the point. The point was, there was two grown men fucking fighting over a ten-year-old cake or something. They were fucking, they had no idea what they are fucking doing. They are fighting all over the bus, fucking counting that all over the fucking shop, mate. The bus driver was pissed out of it. He was going to fuck people up after that, man. He was a guy for all the grannies and everyone. He, it was just a free-for-all, mate. He was so fucking pissed off. It was just crazy shit, and I, I was just like, please drive the fucking bus, that's what, what I paid you for. They said, no, we're on strike, actually, because there's been too many incidents like this in the recent past, you see? See, this scene keeps on happening now, because they let all the loonies out of the fucking 
the other mental hospital that shut down down the road. So, you know, they would take the bus because they can't afford anything else and, you know, see the train tickets went up to $50 per fucking kilometre. And the, bu the buses only cost one cent because they're awful. And there's, there's no seats anymore. It's just sit on the floor. <laughs> Everyone just slides around. So, sliding around and some man slid on the cake and these men, they fought over this cake. Am I to understand that this uh, bus runs on um, cake sugar as fuel to run? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> runs on fucking sugar, mate. Yeah, they get the sugar in the cake and stuff and they put it in the bus, but that's not this bus. This is just the normal old bus they got these days. No seats, and the fucking cake everywhere made it all slippery and shit. Everyone was sliding into each other. You know, it's just everyone broken arms, broken... Except me, of course, I don't get it. See, I'm wearing this jacket, see? Protects you fucking from any sort of injury at all. And um, I tested it out the other day in the fucking, uh, um, uh, on the, another bus here. Yeah, I ran in front of the bus and it didn't hurt at all. So I was just like, yeah, well, from now on, I'm going to be pretty fucking happy with my life because I, it can't end, you see. You know, they've got this jacket. Unless someone steals it in the night. It's, that's why I've got it locked up in a fucking million dollar safe. So the million dollar safe, it keeps you safe. Is that what you're saying? I mean, um, the, yeah, yeah, million dollar safe, yeah, 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 it cost a billion dollars, but it, it, it takes a million dollars to open, so it confuses everyone, you see. No one knows how to fucking open it, because I say it's a million dollar safe, but you actually need, you know, you need less money than a billion dollars to open it. And, uh, yeah. Dear General Smoking. Dear General uh, Smoking. Yeah. Dear General. Yeah. Digital smoke. Digital smoke. See, what you do is you twist it and wind it, and you download the USB into the uh, cigarette, and then it simulates the uh, smoking. Oh, yeah. See, just all I have to do is press the button and then feed the data from the USB into the cigarette. Now, that was just a small fucking sample of what I've been working on. Like, that is supposed to have, well, all this really nice ambient music in the background, this fucking, like, you know, the Justin Bieber thing, the fucking all that. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I kind of understand your point. I mean, Justin Bieber, uh, I met Justin Bieber and, uh... Yeah, I'm, I met him as well. He's a really nice kid, actually. Um, he gave me, like, his fucking, uh, whatever, his new greeting that, like, this new fucking weird handshake thing he's got. And it's, it's pretty cool, I mean, I felt, I felt young again, you know. I felt young again, touching Justin Bieber in the hand. And, yeah, that was it. I fucking threw him in the skate park, and that was it. He went off skating, and, yeah, he went, uh, somewhere with these drug guys or whatever. I thought I had one of these... No, it's actually me, and uh, actually I've got some things to say about that. Firstly, you cannot smoke, but I mean, what you can do instead is you use a USB device as a cigarette, and then you download the data, the kind of smoking flavor that you want onto the USB, and then you use it uh, by smoking, and, and it's quite nice, actually. I prefer uh, Winship-flavored uh, cigarettes. They're quite nice. And then there's also Microsoft Defrag. You're the fucking guy from the bus, aren't you? Jesus Christ. Anyway, fucking... Nah, they've they got nothing to do with fucking computers. They're called electronic cigarettes because... <laughs> because uh, they are not normal cigarettes, that's it. There's no other reason for it whatsoever. Uh, I've, I've tried one. You try the new fucking... Um, the new uh, Yahtzee cigarettes and the new Scrabble board game cigarettes. They're pretty cool. Uh, what you do is you play a whole game and then you get a smoke if you win, but you don't get a smoke if you lose. So, yeah, it's pretty good, like, a good way to quit, you know, because I suck at all the board games. Well, that's quite fine. I mean, when there was just one time I was playing the board games and they were, they were okay, but they, I, I don't really understand board games because the only mm -hmm. games that I understand are computer games, you see. This is the computer games, they, they, they're good because you can interact with people over the, in the internet and uh, hook your mouth? Well, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I did try using a computer the other day, but it, it said, install Windows, please. And I was like, what the fuck? It's, it's like, it, uh, have you ever heard of Windows Zero that says that? Because I've never fucking seen it. I just didn't want to touch it after that, that was it. 
I was like, fuck this computer off, it can go get fucked. No, I was happy throwing it away. I mean, it did cost like a lot. It was a birthday present. I said, no, please, no computer for my birthday ever. And unfortunately, it's fucking crazy uncle fucking can't hold fucking got it for me. Top stuff, must say it. Yes. 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 Yep, I thought I had one of those cigarettes, but I realised eventually it was actually just a pen. And I incorporated my mouth, I looked like a fool. But you know, at the end of the day, that's how I stopped smoking, and that's how other people should look at it too. So, till next time. <coughs> um, yes. Till next time, don't smoke. And go away. Go home? Oh, fuck. I still have to do more of this show. And then the guy told me that I'm going to punch you in the face, and then he did, and well, I was quite sad about that, and I had to go to prison. <laughs> you were. Yeah, I went to prison because I got punched in the face. You see, these are the two dogs that were eating me. I woke up. <laughs> My nose? I woke up, and these two dogs that were eating me. So I did. <laughs> well, I see. Oh. They were eating me. I mean, I didn't like the dog because they were fucking eating me. I mean, I was trying to go to bed. Hey, what was that? I'm John Depp. And see, I don't, I don't know who John Depp is. Anyway, I mean, these two dogs fucking eating me. I mean, I didn't like them. They just blew up my blood. <laughs> you fucked me! Hang on. what I say? Is that as the pilot? You see, these two dogs, they were coming after me. I mean, the blood and the guts and my, my organs that were on the floor. Just uh, sail it north. The two dogs are fucking eating me. I mean, can you believe it? I was just a head. Shit. My bones, my guts, my arms, they were just all over the place. I had to put myself back together. Well, I'm gonna kiss you now. Fuck it. Well, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Go on, <laughs> fucking say something! No, I was just uh, thinking what I heard before about Kate, and I was just... I want to get my life back on track since it went off the rails. And the Kate, if I can find that big juicy gate, then I think it's got all the answers inside. When I take a bite, it's like, my life will be like... Well, he was. Well, I think his life will be totally on track again because there are donuts, there are other forms of things that make you fat. I mean, want to have some nice sugar drink. I mean, <laughs> when I think about sugaring, I start getting horny about sugar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was this one time when this guy came up to me and instead of using pickup line, he said, Have some sugar. Tell you what, I will never eat cake or sugar again just because of these two cunts. That is a fact, and I will sleep well tonight because of this. <coughs> <coughs> yes, thank you. The dum 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 dum